Today, we're gonna to be learning how to use queries within your Pandas data frame, so that way you can manipulate your data frames and grab data a lot quicker and easier. And the best part is you can use this quite a lot within interview questions. I'm gonna jump on my computer right now and go over a bunch of examples with you guys, taking you step by step. Okay, so before we actually take a look at any of these queries, let's start off with importing a few libraries. So first, import Pandas, so import Pandas as DD. You should be super familiar with that before you even watch the video. Another one I'd recommend that you import is Seaborn. And the only reason why I'm importing Seaborn is to grab their sample data. So it's really good for graphs and I've already made a whole video on Seaborn. Um, but just to show you how to grab some data, sns.get data set names that. And then you can see all these data sets. I'm gonna use taxis. So I'm gonna label that as my data frame. So df for data frame equals sns dot load data set. And then I'm just gonna put here taxis like that. And just to show you guys what it looks like, if I just do a quick head, df dot head, you can see the five over here. So pickup, drop off, passengers, distance, fare, tip, tolls, total, color, pavement, pickup drop off pickup bro and drop off bro. So we're gonna run all of our queries based off of this. And there's quite a few in this video. Um, so that way you guys can be a little bit more familiar. So let's start off with some just basic number calculations. The first thing I'm gonna show is this data frame over here, uh, but I only wanna show when passengers are three. So here's how your query statement will work out. So all you're gonna put over here is df.query. The reason why we have df is we label this data frame as df right? Then what you're going to do is put single quotes in here. And then we're going to take passengers, passengers equals three. And again, two equal signs and three, just like that. And if we run it, uh, we're just going to get the results. If there's three, you can see 243 rows. And just to show you that this works properly, if I wanted to do four passengers, right? Shift enter, we're now down to 110 with just four. So anytime you're doing a query, it's your data frame that you're using, dot query, then inside over here, you're gonna put in single quotes, and then you're gonna put what you're specifically querying, and that is with a number. So a few other examples that you can do, you can also do greater than or less than. So I'm just gonna copy this over here and just show you a few others. So like, for example, let's say I want to have passengers over three, right? That works properly. Let's say I wanted to have passengers greater or equal to three, right? And just very, very basic trivial stuff. All of this works. If I wanted to change this around put it on the other side, right? Boom, that works. I'm gonna add in a few more lines too, right? Let's say you don't want it to be three. I'm gonna show something else. Right, all this is populated over there. So use it to your heart's desire and it's honestly very, very fast now uh, to start manipulating data. Now you can also do the same thing with strings. So we can say df.query and remember we have to put our single quotes in here and then we're gonna look at pickup burrows. So let's grab this over here, pickup burrow. So copy that, we'll put that in here. And this time we're gonna have that equal to Manhattan. Now, if I just put this over here, right, this will not work. What you have to actually do when you work with strings inside of a query is you're gonna have to put this within actual quotes, not single quotes. So you can see the double quotes are there, then we still have the single quotes on the outside, which can be a little bit confusing your first time, but I promise you the more and more you use it, it's gonna be secondhand each year. So, if we shift and enter, right, you can see Perk Up Bro is just Manhattan on that side of things. Now, I want to show you some other stuff that you can do. So, this can be greatly expanded. We actually have the option for and and or, in, not in. So, let's just do an and. So, I'm going to use this as an example, right? Let's say I wanted to have people that were picked up in Manhattan and then the passengers were not three, right? Let's say I wanted to combine these two together. So what I would do to combine these, all you have to do, right, is after Manhattan here at the end, all you have to do is and, and then 
all I'm going to do is copy this over here and paste that and I'm just going to delete it. So how this works is you still have your single quote right on the inside and outside at the very end. Then we have our first thing that we're querying, pickup borough equals Manhattan. Then we have the word and, and then we have our second passengers not equal to three. So then you run that, you can see 5,055 rows and 14 columns. So there is a lot of people that were picked up in Manhattan that were not three. We chose exactly three, right? 213. So same thing can be said with or. So you saw how and worked. Now, if we copy this, and then this time, instead of just writing and, we'll put or and run that. So you can see now there's 5,298 rows in comparison to 213. And I know they all show pickup burrow over here. I can promise you that is not the case. There is uh, some others over here uh, besides that. Now we're gonna be taking a look at in, which is most commonly used with strings. So let's grab this copy over here. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So this time, right, we're gonna say df.query, pick up burrow, and we're gonna say in, and then we're gonna name two of these different burrows. So the first one we're gonna have is a Manhattan, just like this. So just copy that and throw it inside. We're gonna put a comma, and then next we're gonna put Brooklyn. Brooklyn, just like that. Make sure the single quote at the very single end. And then this should be good to go. So then if we run this, you can see pickup row over here is Manhattan and also Brooklyn. And if we wanna do the opposite of it, there's something called not in. So if we wanna show everything that is not in Manhattan or Brooklyn, just go over here and put not. And you can see some of the boroughs, Queens. This is a null value, which we'll go over null values in a little bit, and then Bronx. Now I wanna show you that you can actually define this on the outside and still call it within the query function. So let's say, for example, I wanted to have borough like that. I'm gonna say that equals, and I'm gonna make this over here, and I'm just gonna copy these and paste it in. So throw this, right? So that we've defined borough, and then all I have to do is I'm gonna copy this over here and say not in, and then put at, and then we've already declared borough over here, which is Manhattan and Brooklyn. So if we run that now, you can see 762 or 782 and 782. And if we wanted to do where the pickup borough was in that spot, again, move a not. And we have this. So feel free to define things outside of query and then you can call it inside kind of like this. Uh, that way, if you're going to change this, you have the opportunity to do so outside that query. And the same could be said um, with integers too. So just to show you an example. So I'm going to define passengers equal to five, right? And then we're going to run this query over here, df.query, and then put in here passengers equal, and then put at passengers like this. And if you run that, it's only going to show the results that there is five passengers than a taxi, which is only 277. So you can also call some of the different math operators within these. So I know we've used passengers a few times. So I'm just gonna copy this over here and I'm gonna just remove everything towards the end. So kind of a weird example, let's say we wanted to multiply our passengers by three. So we can just say passengers times three is less than 10, which will show anything less than 3.3, right? And run that passengers one all the way through three no fours will be shown so that is one way you could do it otherwise you could actually multiply across two different columns we can do times and let's say distance for some reason if we wanted passengers times distance less than 10 right still passengers one 1 1.6 and all those will be multiplied across less than 10 but you can multiply across these columns in this instance it might not make specific sense to do that um, maybe you wanted to do something, for example, maybe total divided by passengers and then show only a result like passenger cost. That might make a little bit more sense, but just for quick inefficiency side of things, 
how you can multiply those across, divide them, add, subtract, all that fun, good stuff. So you can also throw some string functions in here. So let's say, for example, we're going to do a df.query, right? And then instead of just grabbing yellow for the taxi color, let's say, for example, we're going to do color dot str dot contains and inside over here we're just going to put yel like this and you can see yellow will only populate over here 5451 and then i think there's green so like if you wanted a green gre right and then you can see green has 982 on that side of things and you can also play with dates too so we'll just go over here and say df.query. And then what we're gonna grab is this drop off date. So I'm gonna say drop off dot dt dot month, which will tell you the month number. We're gonna say that is equal to two, right? And then we can see we have our one February uh, pickup and drop off. You can also see some of the different null values in here. So let's say, for example, df.query. And I think our null value that we had earlier was in pickup burrows. So all you're gonna do is go over here, again, single quotes, pickup burrow dot is an A, and we're gonna say that's equal to one. So that'll show all the null values uh, for that side of things and show the full rows. And you can see there is actually quite a lot of NAs in this example um, all across over here to the right. Um, but this data does actually look like it's been filled up. So I'm gonna grab um, this over here just to show you this next example. So how you can grab specific columns. So we have this over here. So just to show you guys how this would specifically work, grabbing a column. So we have this query from earlier, right? Diff.query drop off DT month. And let's say for example, that you wanted to grab the payment. So I have to do, in brackets payment right and you can see it shows cash on that side of things now if we wanted and just to show you that it works over here right payment cash so let's say this time i actually want to grab two columns so same thing as above so i'm going to copy this part and then this time at the end you're going to put two brackets so we have the one inside over here and then i'm going to put total comma and then payment and that will show both, right? You have total and payment, which lines up with this over here. And lastly, I wanna just show you what in place does. So what in place does is it rewrites the data frame that you already have. Uh, so we've been using DF this entire time. So I'm gonna just make another copy of it. I'm just gonna say DF2 equals, and then I'm gonna load that same data set from earlier, right? And I know I could just duplicate it like this, but so make sure everything is fully correct. And then I'm gonna write a query. So df2.query. And then what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna say color equals yellow like this. And then at the very end, in place equals true like that. And then shift enter to run that. And I do have an issue. So let's see what the issue is. And my issue is I need to put the single quote right there instead of the very end um, because you're querying this and then this is an additional call where you're saying in place equals true. And if we actually run this this time, it does work. And just to show you that there's a difference in the different data frames. So if we just put DF over here, right? You see 6433, if I put DF2, right? Now we're looking at 5451. So when you're using in place, just remember, no single quotes over this. You just put single quotes over the query that you're using. And this has nothing like that. You just put in place and you put true uh, to rewrite over that specific data frame. So after watching that video, I hope you're able to apply uh, queries to your pandas data frames. If I was able to teach you that, make sure to hit the subscribe button as it does help grow the YouTube channel. And if you actually wanna practice these within questions, I have a full Python video over here where I solve, I think like 25 or 30 easy pandas interview questions and i use query quite a bit in that video